Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on thermal and impact printers. Today I'm going to discuss thermal printers, and then I will discuss impact printers. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this discussion. And of course, we'll begin by talking about thermal printers. The most common use for thermal printers is as receipt printers. Why? Because they're easy to set up and easy to use. They're also extremely low maintenance. How do thermal printers work? Well, a feeder assembly moves specially coated heat sensitive paper past the print head assembly. The print head uses heat to cause a reaction on the paper. And that reaction is actually the printed words. As I'm sure you're well aware, this specialty paper is not very durable. Now, a cutter head is used to cut the receipt at the proper length. The speed of a thermal printer is usually measured in inches per second. They're not as fast as some types of printers, but they print receipts really well. Now, as far as maintenance is concerned, the first thing is, is to follow all safety precautions. The most common maintenance task that you're going to have to perform on thermal printers is replacing the paper and getting rid of paper dust. Using canned air, by the way, is a great way of removing that paper dust. Now let's move on to impact printers. So what's their common use? Well, they're commonly used in situations where multiple copies are required. Because of that, they're often used with multi-part paper, carbon type paper, only they don't use carbon anymore. Now, impact printers do not produce letter quality work, especially if a nine pin head is used, but they can produce near letter quality work with a 24 pin head. How do they work? Well, the paper is attached to the sprockets of the tractor feed. The sprockets move the paper through the printing process. As the papers move past the print head, the pins in the head are fired as the head moves back and forth. The pins strike an ink soaked ribbon which prints on the top copy. While the force of the pin strike marks the underlying copies if there are any present. Now let's talk about impact printer maintenance. First off, just as with thermal printers, follow all safety procedures. Impact printers tend to produce quite a bit of paper dust and debris. Use canned air to clean that out of the printer. The next most common maintenance task is the need to replace the ink ribbon. So you replace it as necessary. And finally, if your print head no longer fires all of its pins, you need to replace the complete print head in order to fix that. Now that concludes this session on thermal and impact printers. I talked about thermal printers and then we briefly discussed impact printers. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure I'll do another one soon.